Miners can work day shift, night shift. So 24 when hours straight. They can do it. Wow. Sometimes when they don't have money, they work day shift and night shift. And there's no one telling them not to do that? No. Yeah. <laughs> there is not any control of safety conditions in which miners are working in self demise. Miners have to take care of themselves in self demise. Right. Miners till today are still making the perforations hammer and chisel like in the 17th century in order to introduce the dynamite. Here we have dynamite. Yeah. Dyn dynamite like this is not very dangerous. You can throw it. Oh, good <laughs> lord. <laughs> it's not going to explode. Oh my gosh. And so that's how the morning starts here in the mining city of Potosi, Bolivia. Not just for us, but for the thousands of miners here who begin every day buying their own supplies at the local miners market. This bag, yes. this bag. We have the dynamite. We have dynamite. <laughs> Why don't you carry the dynamite? You, no. Have I? <laughs> <laughs> you probably Marco will carry the dynamite. Okay. 60 bolivars. 60 bolivars. So not quite $10. Gracias. You just bought dynamite. How does that feel? Um, yeah. Very strange. Very, very strange. Very, very strange. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, it's a pretty strange feeling just walking up and buying dynamite on the street for sure. But it gets to feeling a whole lot stranger when the realization actually sets in that we will each soon be carrying that dynamite deep into what is easily one of the most dangerous places in the world. Let's go. I'm Nick. And I'm Dusty. We quit our job, sold everything we had, and set out to see the world. And live a life of adventure. So we're a little more than halfway through our adventure here in Bolivia, and it has somehow, some way, brought us here. The Cerro Rico Silver Mine, one of the most historic, prolific, and dangerous mines anywhere in the world. And strangely, Potosi's biggest tourist attraction. From here we can have a look at our mountain of Potosi, one of the biggest deposits of silver of the world. Thanks to this mountain, we have the city of Potosi, Bolivia, this is part of the history of America and also part of the history of Europe. And he's right. At one time, Potosi was one of the richest cities in the world, but it's come at an incredibly steep cost. Experts believe hundreds of thousands of people have died in these mines over the centuries. Still, it's the main source of income and a great source of pride among the folks here in the city of Potosi, regardless of the danger. Most of these women lost her husbands working in mines or her husbands are just lying in bed in their house with their lung disease. Well, or they suffer in an accident or something. I will ask her, uh, her what happened with her husband. Eighteen years, his uh, her husband's di husband died in the in the mine. So, with all that in mind, as you might imagine, we're having more than a few mixed feelings about going down into this thing. But here we go. Okay, so I guess this is well. You can see how I'm feeling about this. Um, I guess this is uh, to show you guys what the conditions are like in here, uh, what it's like. It's very dangerous, um, probably the most dangerous thing we've um, ever done. And uh, I'm really, really nervous. Um, but I'm gonna do it, so. Okay, ready? Let's go. So with the backpack loaded up with everything we bought in the market that morning, two quarts of soda, a bag of coca leaves, and a couple of sticks of dynamite, make our way into the darkness and into the depths of the 15,700 foot tall mountain known by the locals as the mountain that eats men. We're 
walking through one of an estimated 20,000 tunnels that have been dug and blasted into this mountain over the centuries. Today, around 15,000 miners, including kids as young as 11, venture deeper into the mountain every day, digging for silver, tin, and other minerals. Despite the very real and constant threat of toxic gases, electrocution, and of course, the fact that any of these tunnels can collapse at any moment. Holy moly.